Angelou. Why are you reading poetry by Maya Angelou? Because it's October 17th. It's National Black Poetry Day, and MTV starts now. Read some of your favorite black poets today. Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope you all have had a good week so far. I'm Jasmine Jeffries, and here are your announcements. Today, Knowledge Bowl has practice in room D12 during break, and we'll have practice at the same location tomorrow. Report cards will be going out today. Also today, National Merit semifinalists will have their board recognition. Tomorrow, juniors and seniors that signed up will be taking the ASVAB. That's all for your announcements. Now here's what's happening at the Hill. Saturday, archery has training in the multi-purpose room. And band has a contest at Itawama Community College. Make sure to come out and support your Mustangs this weekend. Now here's today's birthdays and lunch menu. Here's Aiden to keep us updated on the fall weather. What's up Mustangs? It's got be cold this week, so don't forget those coats. Now let's get into your five day forecast. Today will be sunny with a high of 67 and a low of 41 degrees. Friday will be sunny with a high of 73 and a low of 44 degrees. Saturday will also be sunny with a high of 75 and a low of 47 degrees. Sunday we will be warm with the sunny skies and a high of 78 and a low of 47 degrees. Finally, Monday will be sunny with a high of 81 and a low of 54 degrees. Don't keep those coats on for too long, Mustangs. It's one ring up. That's all for your five-day forecast. Back to you, Jets. Thanks, Aiden. There's been a lot of sports happening at the Hill, so here's Camelia with this week's Roundup. What's up, Mustangs? I'm Camille Stevenson, and here's your Mustang Roundup. Over the break, volleyball competed in the 6A playoffs. For the first round, they played originally winning all three sets and advanced to the second round. Thursday, their season came to an end after a loss in the Soba Central. They finished second in the district with a record of 8 and 2 and an overall record of 12 and 12. Thursday, before our break, our football team played Olive Branch High School on their turf. The Mustangs got off to a hard start, taking 15 to 0 first quarter after Lawrence Archie scored two rushing touchdowns and a safety on a bad snap from Olive Branch. The Keysters got on the board with a rushing touchdown before the half, making the score 15 to 7. The second half had a questionable cause by referees, but the Mustangs powered through and beat the Keyster Keysters 22 to 14. Last Saturday, Swim competed in North Half Meet. Olivia Joyce placed 11 in a 50 meter freestyle and 12 in a 100 meter freestyle. Addison Kappelman finished 22nd in 50 meter freestyle. And Kazarius Newson finished 22nd in a 50 meter freestyle. I'm Camille Stevenson, and that was your Mustang Roundup. What's up guys, I hope you're having a great week. As we know, it's football season and the NFL is off to a heated start. There are 32 teams, two conferences, and eight divisions, and only two have remained undefeated. The Kansas City Chiefs, part of the AFC West Division, and the Minnesota Vikings, part of the NFC North Division, have held a tight run, leading 5-0 with a bye week last week. Next week, the Chiefs play the San Francisco 49ers with a record of 3-3, and the Vikings play the Detroit Lions with a record of 4-1. We'll see how our two teams do heading into week seven. Speaking of the Detroit Lions, defensive end Aiden Hutchinson suffered a serious season-ending leg injury on Sunday against the Dallas Cowboys during the third quarter, fracturing his fibula and tibia. Even so, the Lions put out a huge win, 47-9, making them second in the NFC North Division behind the Vikings, even without one of their best players. Let's see how the Lions handle this unexpected event. That's it for your reality check. Back to you, Jasmine. Thanks, Camelia. Due to technical difficulties, MTV hasn't been able to air our Hispanic Heritage Month quotes. To make up for that, we'll be airing them till the end of this month. Al final del día, podemos soportar mucho más de lo que creemos. Frida Kahlo. Okay, that was your show, Senator Hill. And as always, here's your quote of the day. October was always the least dependable of months, full of ghosts and shadows, joy fielding. Make sure you check the school website for more announcements, scholarship opportunities, and upcoming events. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell so you never miss an episode, and be sure to follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. 
I'm Jasmine Jeffries, and that was today's show. Be safe, Center Hill, and remember, your only limit is the amount of belief that you have in yourself. <laughs>